that's about it Friends, be glad in God I don't mind repeating what I've written in earlier letters And I hope you don't mind hearing it again Better safe than sorry So here goes Steer clear of the barking dogs Those religious busybodies All bark and no bite All they're interested is Appearances Knife happy circumcisers I call them the real believers are the ones the Spirit of God leads to work away at this ministry, filling the air with Christ's praise as we do it. We couldn't carry this off by our own efforts, and we know it, even though we can list what many might think are impressive credentials. You know my pedigree, a legitimate birth. Circumcised on the eighth day, an Israelite from the elite tribe of Benjamin, a strict and devout adherent to God's law, a fiery defender of the purity of my religion, even to the point of persecuting Christians, a meticulous observer of everything set down in God's law book. The very credentials these people are waving around as something special I'm tearing up and throwing out with the trash along with everything else I used to take credit for. And why? Because of Christ. Yes, all the things I once thought were so important are gone from my life. Compared to the high privilege of knowing Christ Jesus as my master firsthand, everything I once thought I had going for me is insignificant. Dog dung, I've dumped it all in the trash so that I could embrace Christ and be embraced by Him. I didn't want some petty, inferior brand of righteousness that comes from keeping a list of rules when I could get the robust kind that comes from trusting Christ, God's righteousness. I gave up all that inferior stuff so I could know Christ personally, experience his resurrection power, be a partner in his suffering and go all the way with him to death itself. If there was any way to get in on the resurrection from the dead, I wanted to do it I'm not saying that I have this all together that I have it made but I am well on my way reaching out for Christ who has so wondrously reached out for me friends don't get me wrong by no means do I count myself an expert in all of this but I've got my eye on the goal where God is beckoning us onward to Jesus I'm off and running and I'm not turning back so let's keep focused on that goal those of us who want everything God has for us if any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment, God will clear your blurred vision. You'll see it, yeah. Now that we're on the right track, let's stay on it. 
Stick with me, friends. Keep track of those you see running the same course, headed for the same goal. There are many out there taking other paths, choosing other goals, and trying to get you to go along with them. I've warned you out of them many times. Sadly, I'm having to do it again. All they want is easy street. They hate Christ's cross, but easy street is a dead end street. Those who live there make their bellies their gods. Belches are their praise. All they can think of is their appetites. But there's far more to life for us. We're citizens of a high heaven. We're waiting the arrival of the Savior, the Master Jesus Christ, who will transform our earthly bodies into glorious bodies like His own. He'll make us beautiful and whole with the same powerful skill by which he is putting everything as it should be under and around him.